name is Sarah Morris. If you are new to this channel, the first thing you're gonna learn is that I do Taekwondo. So first off, happy 2019! It's a brand new year. I made, of course, some new goals, which I'm really excited about because, well, one of them, I decided that I want to try and go into graduate school this coming fall which means I have to apply for graduate school like in the next month which means I have to take the GRE which also means that I'm gonna be studying like crazy to take that test this month I have to get my applications in like sometime before the end of January but I'm really excited I'm gonna go and try and get my MBA from the University of Utah I'll keep you guys updated on how that's doing and then another one of my goals is I know you guys will be really excited I'm gonna get back in a competition so this means that I'm gonna be training again, which means more training vlogs. Yay! So with that, here's like a couple of clips from what training's been like. Mostly like sparring training that I've filmed, but never really put into a video and edited. So here it is. workout which is why I'm kind of like a mess <laughs> but I got a question that I wanted to answer over Instagram DM and that was about like how to set goals how to break down goals usually like the goals that I have are really big and if I think about like the actual big giant goal that I want to get that seems so far off it just it's exactly that it seems too far off to be able to reach so I want to talk about how to break down goals in order to actually achieve them it's 2019 and everybody's making goals right now but usually along the way like we get you know like one two three weeks in and we kind of let them go so if you have something that you want to achieve this year I'm just gonna show you a couple of things that I do in order to get to my goals I use a planner to kind of arrange my life especially if you're an athlete and you're in school or you have work or you have like other things that you're doing and you can't put a hundred percent focus into like being an athlete it's really hard to manage your time one of the biggest things that helps me is having a planner so this video isn't sponsored but this company called clever Fox uh, reached out to me and they told me that they have like these really cool planners and they thought that would fit me so I got one and this is like the coolest planner that I've ever seen and I've gone through a lot of planners so the thing that I like about this planner pretty much I like to plan out my week like this so it has you know like little space for every single day and then what I really like is on the right hand side it has everything laid out for me so I'm a really visual person I have to see what I have to do or like what I'm planning on in order for it to get done for last week my main goal was to stick to my posting schedule which I didn't get done so right below it, it says reward if achieve I get no reward. So if you need to do something like that, like say, you know, make a goal for the week and you get a specific reward if you achieve that goal, then maybe that's what you have to do. For me, it's not so much about the reward, it's about more about getting it done and being able to say that I got it done. So you really have to kind of understand yourself and see how it is that you work best. I also like to list out this week's priorities. So my priorities for this week are number one, take the GRE practice exam. Also, make sure that I train at least one to two times a day and then also keep up with my upload schedule on YouTube and that's like along you know like along with all the work that I have to do for running my studio and everything else like I just have to see it in paper so I can know what my priorities are that way like if I feel like you know going out with friends or watching a Netflix movie I have to review my priorities and be like okay have I gotten all the other stuff done to make sure that I'm actually getting closer to the things I want to get closer to it's like it's just a good checklist to keep yourself on track Next favorite thing are habits and skills. So I'll tell you guys what my habits and skills are. This week it's to do yoga, to write, 
to work out. I think that's all that I put on here so far. One of the biggest reasons I want to do yoga is I like the way that it helps me like be in tune with my body and like breathing and my mind. I really like having all that connected. So setting aside a good amount of time every day to do yoga, it's just like, it's a habit that I want to develop. And every single day that I do them, I get to actually like check off a little box. I also want to write. So I think I told you guys one of my like goals has been to write a book. So I've been trying to get in the habit of writing. So every single day I'll try and you know just like write whether it's like reflecting on what the day was like or writing about a story that happened. Things like that just to get me in the practice of writing. Again, these are habits that you want to develop getting yourself used to doing every single day. And at the end of the day you get to check off the little circle and it's it's just a good feeling. So below that, at the end of the week, you actually get to review your week and see this week's wins. This is really important. It's something that I'm not really used to doing. Usually I'll like look back on experiences and I'll say, okay, I could have done better at this or at this, or like here's a mistake I made. But I never really take the time to be proud of myself for the things that I am proud of myself for doing. So you get to reflect back on the week and be like, okay, what's something that I really did this week that you know, like I'm happy that I accomplished? This this is also a good way of like motivating yourself to those big goals because if you took the little baby steps then it just gets you one little step closer to that big goal. For my last week to give you guys an example I was happy that I made the decision to apply to graduate school. That was a big thing for me because I was undecided and I hate being undecided about things. And then how will I improve next week? This is a time when you can look back at your week and say, okay, yeah, I didn't do so well in this area. So next week this is what I'm going to focus on improving. So. You know, like it doesn't have to be a specific planner like this, but it's just what works for me. So whatever you need to do, break down your goals. I'm sorry if this video was like a bit of rambling. I love making goals and just like thinking of crazy ideas that I wanna reach. I hope you guys do too. One question for you, let me know what one like non-Taekwondo goal is for you for this year. I'll start off with mine and that is what I already told you, applying to graduate school. But tell me what you are planning to do outside of martial arts this year. That's what I want to hear about. Make sure that you subscribe to this channel because I will be posting tutorials every Wednesday and then vlogs every Saturday even though today it's Monday because I'm a couple days late. But I'm pretty sure that I'll get back on track pretty soon. And yeah, have a great week guys. I see all, uh, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye!